Today, the markets reacted to the nation's lower credit rating. How long until Idahoans could see the impact? Good evening. Thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. Investors on Wall Street are worried about the state of the U.S. economy. But what does that mean for people in eastern Idaho? Logan McDougall is following the story for us tonight. He joins us from our Pocatello newsroom with more. Logan? Todd, the Dow dropped by more than 630 points today. And I spoke with a couple of economic experts who hope that this is not a sign of things to come. In the first day of trading since Standard & Poor's downgraded the United States credit rating, stocks tumbled 5.5%. Dan Cravens, regional economist with the Idaho Department of Labor, says that the downgrade could affect all Americans. They may pay higher rates for their credit cards, for their student loans, for their home loans, uh, things like that. And, of course, that has a real effect on people's pocketbooks. And Cravens believes that if changes occur on the personal level, it will have greater implications for the whole economy. When that happens, that, that can cause the economy to slow down because there's less goods, there's less business expansions. So it, it can have a, a rather serious effect. And that fear of rising interest rates in an uncertain market was expressed in today's trading on Wall Street. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell just over 634 points, and Cravens thinks that this volatility could trickle down to East Idaho. We interact with other parts of the country. We interact with nations overseas. Uh, if their economies are, are headed south, eventually that's going to have a negative effect on our ability to sell goods and services and products that come out of southeastern Idaho. Even with some feeling the urge to pull out of the market, Bronco Todorovic, financial advisor with Edward Jones, says it is best for people just to stay put. Get a professional, at least second opinion of your portfolio. Um, second thing is don't panic. Stay the course and review your goals. Now, today's drop is the sixth worst drop in Dow Jones history, and the worst was actually on September 29th, 2008, when the Dow dropped by 778 points. Todd, back to you. All right, we'll keep an eye on it tomorrow. Thank you very much. Logan McDougall.